Hi friends, here is Aditya from Aditya RP Academy, Bangalore. Now we are continue to work with uh, our kids in uh, uh, lectures management. So go to control room. So if you observe here, like an opening, exception, complete, and lock means, so any item gets marked as a complete or an exception, the queue will eventually have nothing left to available to work. And the signal to process that the queue has nothing available is that the output from like, you know, get next item select return empty. So to mark like you know, all items, means like to work with all items, then we are going to use like you know, one expression, like one condition. There is like item ID. Okay, delete this stage. And yeah one more action stage here and select internal business update and then select like a mark completed then item id then go to outputs so it won't require anything out in outputs tab then Check one decision stage. Assign name where select got an item. And then choose like an item ID. double quotes then link it then reset it and then run it So if you observe here, the item ID is like, you know, changing. And then go to control room. So here we can, if you keep continuing like a refresh, you can change, you can observe like a status. And you can see like a mark completed. Okay, still it is working.
yeah still is working so if you observe the decision like you know the expression like item id less than greater than, than double quotes means like you know we have got an item id and if the answer is yes and we know that like uh, we have an item to be work with when the answer is no we know that there are no more no more items left to work and then so we'll we'll okay the flow will redirect to like another stage is done then go to control room then refresh it so highlight the work queue it's all completed so by using queues so we can differentiate like an incoming data for example so we have like a uh, the gender is male or female and then we can differentiate the male and the female by using like a you know, queues management so go to fields let me change the gender the data type is like a flag then okay then go to initial values and then so let me change it to like a, let us select male and then we can change it initial values let us say if it is true means like a male and if it is uh, false means like a female Okay, let me add like one more decision stage. And the drag and drop the patient ID that is patient dot mail. So mail the gender is mail. So here I am differentiating <coughs> the male and female. Suppose if it is male, like uh, we'll say like a mark completed means like a, a tick mark. If not, like go for like an exceptions. Then got next item. We have already seen this expression here. Item ID less than greater than any double quotes. Then link it. Then use an anchor stage. So link it and then let me drag and drop on action stage like choose an internal business subject work case then mark completed sorry mark exception then item id So mark exception and then output the so new item ID. Then link it. Then link it here. See the let me change the switch the path means the first uh, if it is yes like we'll complete and if it is not like you no know, we'll keep it in the exception. Like 
rank it so reset it it's showing like a zero errors then run it okay we will we'll check it in control room okay. so run it So here I'm assigning exception name like gender classification. And reset it, then run it. And we while the process is running, so we can check in controller. So if you observe here, and it is like you know, it's classifying with uh, exception and more completed. And it's done and uh, please stay with us like you know, for more video uh, for more uh, videos on like you know, kids management thank you for watching thank you